I'm kind of glad you didn't pick up. I kind of just called to hear your voice. I miss you. I've been thinking about you, and I've been thinking about our love, and how much I miss you. Welcome back to the Root BSD, uh, Open BSD channel, but we're also a free and open source channel. Here at the Root BSD Technology Channel, we love all things free and open source, and today we're running Open BSD, and we're gonna do it even better. We're gonna deploy an Open BSD cloud server using a service called Vulture, and Vulture is a great service. There's a couple services that I will recommend. I will recommend Vulture, and I definitely uh, recommend. Um, OpenBSD Amsterdam, and we're going to use both. But today we're going to focus on using Vulture, and we're going to deploy a cloud computing server, uh, and we're going to. And it's basically just going to run a website for me. It's going to run the root BSD website, which is going to run on OpenBSD. Now I wanted to buy a bare metal server, but you know, just the my bills right now is just just not a good time. So this is much cheaper. This is going only going to cost five dollars a month. And also, just real quick. The music that you heard in the beginning was brought to you by Abstract U, uh, No Copyright Sounds 10 release. Fantastic song, I really enjoyed it. Um, also, just a shameless plug, uh, this YouTuber right here, um, I am not affiliated with her in any way, uh, she just put out this DJ set and it is one of the most fantastic uh, live uh, DJ performances I've ever seen in my, in my life, it's, it's amazing. And she sings and DJs and produces her own music, she's like a triple threat, and she's a great singer. Her music sounds great. This is amazing. And she messes around with all different types and genres of EDM. So definitely check out Jaina. Uh, you know, please subscribe to her. Please check out her music. Please look, check her out on Spotify. Uh, and it's, just, it's just amazing. It just blew my mind today. But anyways, back to deploying servers. <laughs> yeah, back to the, the, the meat and potatoes. We are working on deploy an OpenBSC server. So I already have have I already have one set up, and I'm gonna run through this real quick. You just you go to vulture.com, you sign up, give them their information, um, and then uh, what I did is I select the cloud compute. Um, I select I put my server in Seattle. Make sure you select what you want. So I I picked uh, OpenBSD 6.9, the x86 64 version, and then we're gonna be running on a 25 gigabyte SSD, their cheapest feature, because. My my website is is on there is going to be part of the uh, there's a there's something called the 10k club, and it's a it's a club of websites that are under 10 kilobytes. I want to join that club, so we're going to see if I can have my website's going to be under 10 kilobytes. It's just going to be some just clean HTML and CSS, and that's it. No Java shit. Script. Sorry. Uh, enable IPv6. We're going to do that. Now you, you they give you the option to do some startup scripts, message keys. Eh, I won't mess with any of that stuff right now. I just I need my server uh, puffy box, and here is the server right now, and it's actually running. So uh, okay, and we have a public IP, so we're just gonna copy it real quick. Then we're gonna bump right here into the terminal. Oh, you know what? I didn't set up a username. You know, it's been a long time since I've done this, so I have to remember. I guess. Oh yeah, I, I would just I would log into root and then set up a user. I guess. Or is it? Hmm. SSH root at one four nine. Yeah, I haven't done this in a long time, so I probably I'm going into this kind of cold and rusty. Thirty seven. One three four. Okay. Yes. Um, you know, we gotta set up. We have a, a temporary password. I might have to uh, look at it in the console. Okay. All right. So let's set up a password. Oh, there is no password set up. Hmm. What we want to do, server details. I need another password. I 
Ah, here it is. Show password. Okay, not a bad password. Copy password. Okay. Here we are. We are logged into our server. Let's see if we can uh, add NeoFetch. So this server is going to be running a, a release. So we should probably run Syspatch too. Alright, we're getting all our patches. Get, get this bad boy secure. It's been a while since I've ran Syspatch. A long time. Because I've run current so much. Alright, so we, uh, we patched it. So let's uh, let's reboot. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. All right, so it's rebooting. It's gonna take a second. Um, we should set up a SSH key for this. SSH key key gen. First, let's look up uh, what our options are. Also, I probably should change the password so you guys don't hack me. Um. There we go. New password. Yeah, don't hack me, guys, please. If you want to bang on that server, fine, but... Uh, we'll do we'll do another episode about SSH keygen. I don't know, I'm, I'm retarded. I just, I don't remember. I used to, I've done this before, and I just... Uh, my brain's just trying a blank. So anyways, we have our server. There we go. Host is Vulture VC2. Nice. So this one's only running with a gigabyte of memory, so this is pretty pretty bare bones, bare metal. But it's perfect for our 10... So what I want to do is put a website on here, and uh, using HTTPD, <clears throat> and what we're going to do is have the RootBSD website on here for, for my channel, my official RootBSD website. And what I want to be a part of is the 10K Club. I want to be a part of this website right here. See, the 10K Club is a curated collection of websites whose home pages do not exceed 10K compressed size. So I think we can do this with just some bare bones HTML, maybe a little bit of CSS. So that's my goal for this little tiny uh, cloud server. It's going to rub my website, and my website's going to be really minimal, not bloated at all. No Java script. All right. Well, that's all. I know, not the most exciting video in the world, but uh, we're up and running with a cloud server, and the next, the part two of this video, okay. the part two of this video will be um, setting up HTTPD, uh, registering a domain name, and getting our website uh, internet facing. So that's all. I uh, hope that you can, uh, you know, if you got a couple bucks to spare, just spin up uh, this uh, cloud server. I got one running right here. And uh, yep, that password is not my password anymore. Uh, yep, that password is not my password anymore. So good luck trying to trying to pwn me with that. If you do, that'd be fun. Tell me how you did it. All right. Well, that's all. I hope you uh, learned something. Bye.